pets impacted by Hurricane Helene and Milton are now on dry ground in the tri-state. Uh, this evening, the Vandenberg and Warwick County Humane Societies welcomed pets flying in from Florida. Eyewitness News Ann Pal was there and has more. The Vanberg and Warwick County Humane Societies continue to lend a helping paw to the shelters in Florida struggling after the hurricane. Some of them have extensive damage, but also pets are still wandering in who got separated from their families. 26 dogs and 20 cats flew from Tampa to Tri-State Arrow. When we take off, it's quiet. And then we get to about 3,000 feet as we're coming down, and all of a sudden you have a plane load of three-year-olds asking, are we there yet? And basically, it's, it's pretty hectic and crazy, but it's, it's, it's a lovely sound. Rick Browdy of Wings of Rescue flew the plane and says the trip took about two hours and 37 minutes. All of the animals on board come from Pinellas County Animal Services and the Animal Welfare League of Charlotte County, Florida. These are going to be a little special because we know that we're getting them out of a situation um, to hopefully help other people find their pets. VHS says none of the pets taken off the plane were lost in the hurricane, but are from shelters that were evacuated due to damage and to make room for lost pets during the storm. The Work Humane Society says it took five dogs and four cats. They previously took in seven dogs from Tennessee after Hurricane Helene. It feels amazing. I'm so grateful that we're able to do this and help with this. Both of the shelters say the community helped them make room for the pets flying in. VHS waived adoption fees last week and tell us 202 animals were adopted. The Work Humane Society says many of their pets went into foster homes. It's amazing. Our community has been amazing. The shelters say all of the animals taken off the plane will be up for adoption. But first, the pets need a clean bill of health. In Evansville, Ann Powell, Eyewitness News.